The Bullitt Center set out to become the most environmentally sustainable building in the world. Uh, so that's a fairly ambitious goal to set for ourselves. And since we invested about one third of the total assets of the foundation in building this building, uh, we, we had to succeed. I wasn't confident that we would make it. Every developer that I talked to before we got started said that our goals were impossible. Uh, but we swallowed hard and went for it. The kinds of things that have been achieved, uh, for example, on the energy front, we use about one-fifth as much energy per square foot as a building built to code in Seattle. And Seattle has one of the three or four toughest energy codes in the United States. We are the only six-story structure in the world that is net energy positive from sunlight that falls on our roof. Despite the fact that it's right smack in the middle of a major urban area, it tries to function like an organism. It um, has uh, a skin that operates a lot like the skin of an animal. Uh, so when uh, it's getting too hot inside, the windows pop open automatically. Um, and in the summertime, when you might have a seasonal heat, they will pop open uh, at nine o'clock at night and remain open until six or seven o'clock the following morning so that any warm air that's accumulated goes out over the top of the window, cold air from outside comes in and you set up your own convective current, which cools down the three inches of concrete inside and helps it maintain a comfortable temperature. So for example, on a hot summer day, Venetian blinds on the outside of the building so that the sun never passes through the glass will track the sun going across the sky as it goes all the way from the east to the west over the course of the day. And you can just watch these things going down. Uh, and it, it stops the sun when it is parallel to the building from going in, but you've still got daylighting coming from all of the other windows around the building. It, in, in short, it, it, it functions like an organism that is designed to maintain a, a certain set of conditions that are kind of optimal for human beings. In, in general, I, I think it is not only the most environmentally sustainable, but arguably uh, the most comfortable uh, and the most productivity-enhancing building that probably that exists.